I mean, okay. So one topic that I think we had last week, I, or w- I was going to put on, uh, it's kind of late, but whatever, um, was, uh, he was, um, Charles Campino, uh, Donald Glover. He was, he was kind of upset over the comparison between his show and Dave. Yeah. Um, I don't oh, know I think- before we go into that show. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Just cause I, I'm, I missed my perfect opportunity to talk about Dude. lighting and how fucking shitty I look right now for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like these two, Eric and Jess are uh, G and E. I am not. And I am very limited by the objects in my parents' basement. So <laughs> I, even though I'm in G and E, I still can light my own room if I wanted to yeah. in a proper way. So you shouldn't feel bad. Yeah. Fucking. Can't wait to be back in Brooklyn next week. Or Jake later. doesn't know how to light skin tones. Yeah, Damn. I don't. I'm not. I <laughs> promise everyone watching, I don't have a sunburn. Like it's. I know it's really hard to believe. I I, and I I'll swear try that and I fix do. it. I'll see if I can fix it. I promise no, you, my face is whole red. Moment won't make sense if I look okay. <laughs> Fix it halfway through the episode. Let's just change color. Okay. <laughs> Jess is gonna spend all her time trying to color Jake. Than actually <laughs> editing the episode, <laughs> it's gonna be Gotta Tuesday that. morning. And we're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But anyway, going on the Donald Glover, uh, Dave comparisons. I kind of get that. I do think I get that. You understand that he's upset, or you understand that they are similar in. I understand that he's upset. I don't think they're as similar as people say. I think it's like a real like reach because that's essentially and like uh, nowhere near of the same quality but uh, dave is a show created by a comedian who raps and deals with some like mental health-esque things about right it. and then there's like some level of similar I mean, their creator but like donald glover is a better comedian better rapper better writer but and the way that they deal with all their shit is significantly better so i think it's People make the comparison and it's shallow, I think is what I'm is. I think that's why he's upset. And I, I mean, I feel like I'm also guilty of it. Like Dave, I gotta, I gotta say, I didn't dislike the show. Uh, No, but yeah, I think that's what people are taking, taking it as though. Like if he's upset and it's like, oh, well, are you saying that Dave is bad? Cause I think Dave is a great show, but I also haven't really watched. I think maybe I watched the first, what is, what season of Atlanta is this? Season three. And then they, they think they've finished. They think they said they did three and four at the same time. I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain season three. I think, I, I, I mean, uh, maybe season one only had a few episodes. Like it was probably wasn't like overloaded because I don't really remember that much. They're not long. Um, they're not long seasons in a general sense. Like they're not too. 20 episode seasons. So <laughs> the only reason I want to watch this season is because I heard Zazie Beats is in the, in the show. And Ozzy Beats has been in the show from day one. There so. you go. So that's even <laughs> so exactly. I, Clearly, I, think, I don't remember the. I think she's in uh, episode one, season one. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in love with Ozzy Beats, and um, that's more of a reason to watch the show. Uh, but well, I guess Lil it, Dicky said that he agrees with him. Yeah, because Lil Dicky is not like some idiot. Like, yeah, <laughs> he understands. Like, you know, yeah, I'm not, and we're not as like like deep in the shit as like Atlanta gets. Cause yeah, he touches a little bit on mental health things and a little bit on stuff, but it's way more of like a straightforward comedy show versus That's Atlanta. exactly it's what he comedy. said. Yeah. Atlanta is a comedy, but it's not, there's a whole, whole lot of, in like the subtext and the framing and stuff like every, every shot's very intentional. And like even scenes where it doesn't seem like a lot's going on are just like filled with dialogue. Subject. That's great. Yeah. yeah um, and, is fucking favorite line ever is like, hey man, can I measure it? Can I measure your tree? <laughs> that's from the new season. Oh, that's from season one. But like, it was uh oh, what's his name? The big, the bigger black guy. He's from uh, no, 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 it's the oh. one that's the breakout. Lakeith Stanfield. Oh, uh, oh god. Uh, fucking love Lakeith, <laughs> and but like, and he was like six had success before Atlanta, but like, I think he got on Atlanta and then. Also, around the same time, start getting another big shit. No, he's in every fucking thing. Yeah, and I fucking think he's great. But uh, there's just this scene where he pulls up to 
I can't remember. It might have been Donald Glover's character's father's house and walks out of the car and he's like, hey, man, can I measure your tree? And the, his dad's like, maybe some other time. And he's like, that basically means no. Like, <laughs> and that's a, it. It's such a throwaway, but I'm just like, this is the greatest dialogue I've ever heard. I love was, it. <laughs> was there a reason for the measuring of the tree? Or I, don't just even, I don't think so. I think it was just his character. Like, um, <laughs> I mean, we don't have to keep going on about it, but I guess I'm, I mean, I am interested. Is the, are, are the stories now connected? Like, are they, cause I don't remember like, is, like Dave, it's just like every episode is like a different kind of sketch. It's like a 30 minute sketch. Yeah. And I, I, I never, I didn't finish the first season, but I do remember like a vague through line. Like there was, is predominantly independent material, mm. but they do have like a little bit of like a progression overall going into it. So what about Atlanta or is that what you're saying? No, Atlanta is a, I think you can't, you can definitely watch any episode of Atlanta. Like you Mm -hmm. might not know like the full context of everything that's happening. Right. They do a really good job in balance and like that does have a very strong like through line in there, like, like uh, throughout the episodes and the seasons, like there's all big overarching thing, but they do make the episodes like, they they're able to do that and make the episodes like self-contained enough that you can just turn it on and at least be entertained if maybe like not all the way aware of everything going on you'll at least know vaguely what's happening that's nice i was like i mean actually i don't really like that <laughs> but what <laughs> I, I i i normally i, I just like i i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to jump in and just watch a random episode i would want oh, yeah i was gonna say it's really creative how they did it like what oh no 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 no, not yeah not that how you watch it no (laughs) yeah i just i was like that's hard opinion choose one or the other (laughs) like even for dave which i feel like the story really doesn't matter i would still want to watch that in some sort of chronological order yeah i tend to do that shit too i mean most of the time uh you know, throwback, throwback jokes, throwback lines. Like, yeah. you know, you're not going to catch you just, those. You just pick it up better. Yeah. I I know a bunch of people who just watch random episodes of like Friends or The Office and shit. And I know those are more self-contained than most things. They're sitcoms, but right. I mean, it's easy to get it. Like I don't, I've never very few things in a general sense have I ever been like, you know what? I'm just going to watch a random excerpt from this till i die like well <laughs> i mean i miss lord of the rings but like unfortunately i'm I, I, i'm a huge like friends guy but i think that i think it's because i've seen every episode that, show, bud. i know i'm sorry i, I don't know what to say <laughs> I, I, I like I was, friends i was just born like this i i, I had to i went to sleep uh to it yeah on, i was born this way <laughs> <laughs> it's just friends playing in the background <laughs> um yeah, it's just easy to it's easy to hop on a random episode because I've seen it a thousand times, and I can kind of like s- think about how they got there. Got there, so it's yeah. easier for me know to know the back story enough. Yeah, so oh, everything's kind of fine. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know. I know a lot of people will do that shit to put it on as like background noise, but when I the things I do for background noise, it's like I'll listen to a podcast. While I'm playing like 2K or Madden or something, like I can, I can never do that. I can never play a game. And sorry, we're getting off track, but I can never, I can never, <laughs> I can never play a game and like Eric listen to music. Never. I could never. <laughs> In a I could never. <laughs>